Today, you're going to discover the best free custom GPTs for SEO, including content writing and more generic ones. And I'll review each one in terms of their use cases. You'll discover how to create your own custom GPTs and you'll discover how to search through almost all of the new AI SEO custom GPTs, even before the custom GPT store has been released. And I'm going to link to all of these tools that I mentioned, all these free AI SEO tools in the description. So no need to sign up for a free course. Let's go. So. If you haven't been living under a rock recently, you've probably seen all the GPTs that are popping up right now. For example, you might have missed it, but we created the link building GPT over here at Keyword Clustering One. We even ranked some of these tools number one on Google. I mean, let's check if they're still ranking. Let's have a look. So you can see that for the keyword SEO outline creator, our tool is still ranking number two, which is absolutely insane. So not only can you create your own tools, not only can you share them with people, not only are OpenAI planning to actually pay people for the amount of people that use these tools, but here's another thing that most people don't realize. You can actually check them out on Google just like this. And then you can see all the recent GPTs that have come out over the last week or so when it got announced and it is insane. So today what we're going to do is look through some of the best options for GPTs in terms of ranking your website number one. And basically what you can do is get access to all these free tools. You do need chat GPT plus, but it's $20 a month. And if it's going to help you save money on tools, if it's going to help you save time, if you're running a business and you're willing to invest $20 to make more money, well, that makes sense to me. Then chat GPT is hundred percent worth it right now because you can just get so many tools and you can automate so much with it. For example, if you can create your own tools, plus you can save money on say buying a keyword clustering tool because you can automate it on open AI. Well, then $20 pays for itself, right? So OpenAI, they only recently introduced GPTs, right? So these are custom trained chat GPTs. I honestly think they're better than assistance. You don't need to bookmark a conversation or anything like that. You can just refer back to your list of all the GPTs like so. But the problem is the GPT store is only rolling out later this month. So it's actually not available yet. So you can share your GPTs and the free tools you create with ChatGPT publicly, but they've not actually officially launched the GPT store, which means you can't publicly search on ChatGPT for the tools that you want, right? And either you have to find the link somewhere else or you have to rely on someone sending you the link. But there's a little hack. So what you can do is you just type site colon openai.com and then you can pretty much search for whatever tool you want. So let's say you want SEO tools. Well, if you scroll down here, you'll see my SEO tool right at the top there. And if you also type in minus dash community, then it will remove any results from the forum and just give you the actual tools that have been indexed on the web like so, right? So using Google, you can search OpenAI and instead of waiting for the GPT store to come out, you can just find out all the tools that you want. Now, why would we do that? Because we want to find new tools that I haven't checked out before. Why do we want that? Because then we can quickly go through all the GPTs and have a cheeky gander. And it's just way easier to find them. And what we're going to do today is, is just have a look at what some of the best ones do. So for example, if we type in Solar Income Stream Surfers, another amazing YouTube channel, shout out to him. I'll link to this from the description. But basically, you can see some of the tools that people have created. So for example, Hamish's tool right here, you can start using as an article creator. So this is one of the, the best ways I think you can use chat GPTs. Is that you can create keyword optimized content, rank it for free inside ChatGPT that's optimized for the keyword that you want, right? So for example, let's say we want to rank for the keyword, like how to use ChatGPT for link building. And it will ask, what website are you writing for? Provide the URL or a description of your website so I can tailor the content appropriately. So we're going to plug in my website right here and then it will browse with Bing. It's going to search for my website and then it will ask you for any internal links. Pretty cool. So pretty smart way to easily automate the internal links. So what you can do is we can find link building related pages to include inside our article on link building. And you can just tailor the tools to whatever you want. And then it will say how many generations we will just put one. I think if you generate more, then it will actually create more content with you. I'm not sure. But here you can see it's creating the key takeaways table. We've already got the keyword optimized title right here. It's got the aspect and then the details for each section, the subheadings and everything is pretty much optimized for the keyword that we want. Pretty cool, very easy to use. And in fact, the output is decent. And then you can see it's inserted the internal links right there. And then it will ask you to visualize the data from the article, right? So if you want to create some charts based on the data, it's going to start doing that now using 
code interpreter. And basically you can just generate articles really easily using this process. So great tool, shout out to him. Amazing channel, lots of value on there. And this tool is in the description if you want to check it out. You don't need to opt in for a free course or anything like that. And there you go. So now you've got the content, it's nicely formatted, it's optimized for the keyword. You've got the internal links right there and you've got the graph as well. Pretty cool for creating outlines. Here's another one to test out, which is the long form blog cyborg, right? So one of the problems with a lot of these GPT tools is that they don't actually write more than 500 words. So let's try giving this a whirl. We're going to say, help me write a long form blog post. Then it's going to ask for the keywords. So we'll pop that in there. I'm glad that it agrees. It's an excellent choice for a blog post topic. I would also agree. And now it's creating the outline. Um, what it's going to do from here, give you the outline. So you can see it's gone from introduction down to the conclusion. And I said, we're going to proceed to write one section at a time, which makes sense to me. Cause if you try and get a whole output for all of this outline, it's just going to do 500 words. So let's see, I'm going to say, go ahead see what it can do and it's beginning with the introduction and i assume what it's trying to do is basically create like maybe a one or two thousand word article but doing it section by section so it's going to write each section now let's say go ahead for the section two see how many words we got in section one yeah so basically it's pumping out about 150 words per section right so section two is 150 words part one was about 120 words as well and you see it's all nicely formatted comes with bullet points subheadings etc and section three is 200 words so basically what you're going to do by using this tool right here is create an article that's about i would say 1000 to 2000 words which is not bad at all and also using this method of approving section by section that means that uh, you can monitor the quality of the content and you can instruct it if it has any changes along the way. By the way, so I'm going to link to all of these tools from the description so you can check it out. Another interesting one is the revenue driven SEO keyword research and analysis tool. This is by Julian Canlas and basically it's about creating a revenue driven content calendar of topics based on purchase conversion rates of past data. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but it sounds interesting. So I'm, I'm going to say, okay, how do we start? Bear in mind as well, some of these tools that you're going to find on Google might not be ready, right? I was just wondering that because if there's no conversation starters, for example, there's no like triggers to click, then these might not be ready or public or anything like that. But let's give it a go. So now it's asked us five main questions. I'm going to answer those right now. So we'll do it for my link building agency, juliangoldie.com, SEO backlinks target audience, typically marketing agencies and e-commerce stores. Although we do work with anyone in case you want backlinks, feel free to book in a call link in the description. And then how much traffic you currently get from SEO. I'm going to say about 10,000 a month. And how often do you plan to publish blog posts? I would say once per day, let's see what it comes back with. So I'm basically assuming that this will focus on keywords suggested in terms of like bringing more revenue to the business, right? So for example, if you're a link building agency, well, topics like buy backlinks, white label backlinks, white label agency, et cetera. These are search intent focused keywords that will bring money in for us. Now, interestingly, it's given us two different responses here, which is a little bit confusing. I think that's from chat GPT, not the tool itself. It's got a suggested keyword mix here. So we've got 70% informational, 30% commercial. And so let's focus on this one. And it's kind of skip. It went from 10 to 50 real quick there with just a few dots. But basically you can see that it's broken down the keyword and then the keyword intent. I mean, these are relevant keywords, right? So for example, link building strategies for e-commerce or buy quality SEO backlinks. And it's given us a mix of informational and commercial content like this. It hasn't given us a 50 it's promised. A lot of these tools are in beta are still being programmed. So I wouldn't say they're going to be perfect yet, but it's given us some commercial and informational keywords there. So if you need some keyword inspiration, you can use a tool like this and potentially can help you, right? Worth a try. Let's actually see how it performs. So we'll run a couple of these keywords through Ahrefs, Keyword Explorer, and just see where we're up to in terms of the metrics, how difficult these are to rank for, etc. Not a huge amount of traffic potential there. Let's run another one through... Let's say advanced link building tactics. We'll put that through, see what happens. So it's got a decent traffic potential, high keyword difficulty. If Julian is watching this, always good to meet another Julian number one. Good effort at creating the tool. I think the way that I would improve it is try and give some more accuracy in terms of keyword difficulty and traffic potential keywords uh, and traffic potential data. It'd be interesting if you could actually link a tool like this to the API of say Ahrefs. So for example, when you're creating tools like this, 
you can actually configure and then in the action section right here, you can code it and import APIs, right? So you can link a chat GPT tool to an actual API, and then you could link potentially keyword tools to the data from Ahrefs potentially, but it probably use up a lot of credits. But that's an interesting idea worth exploring. And the reason that I'm doing this video is because I can show you my tools all day long, but I really want to show you what's possible with chat GPT and all the custom GPTs out there. Because there's loads of other ideas that I'm not implementing, but people smarter than me actually are. I want to see some more of the general sort of GPTs and other stuff outside of just SEO that could be quite interesting. Now, there's a bunch of other tools I actually saw that are not really SEO related, but I thought it would be kind of fun. So see, I saw this on Matt Wolf's channel. You can basically take photos of yourself, upload them to this tool, and then they'll turn you into like a Simpsons character. So... If you're ever an SEO and you're bored at home and you don't know what to do and your analytics have gone down since the helpful content update, then just turn yourself into a Simpson character. Let's give it a whirl. We'll take a picture of me and we should be able to upload this and then see what it does. So it's got this picture of me and there we go. That is me as a Simpson character, apparently. So it's taken the photo right here, done the same. We'll do the same with the Pixar tool. The Pixar one didn't quite work, but the Disney one. We've got it right there. We've got the Disney Fi one, and then we've got a Cartoonify one right here. There we go. Looking a bit younger. So you can actually upload images and then it will transform them into a different style, which is quite interesting. And then it recommends sharing them on Twitter. Interesting. Now, if you caught up with my challenge on how I'm building 100 websites in 90 days, number one, we've got a big update coming along. So make sure you subscribe. But also, you'll see that part of the EEAT SOP that we've got right here is generating the logo or the site icon for the website, which is a bit of a pain normally, right? But what you can actually do with ChatGPT with this logo creator tool is you've basically got a free AI version of Canva and you can actually upload images and then generate a logo similar to the image that you upload, which is quite interesting. You can browse OpenAI and generate logos for it. Or you could just say, right, generate a logo for my link building agency and let's see what it comes up with. So it's going to ask us a few questions, kind of like a design brief. We'll ask it to include Goldie. Normally the text inside AI images is not very good, but let's see. And then we'll pick emblem for the type of logo. Let's see what it comes back with. One of the things I have noticed recently is that uh, OpenAI were actually struggling with all the demand since ChatGPT came out. So they actually paused new subscriptions, which you'll see more info about there. I've noticed that ChatGPT recently has been really slow, especially since these new updates were released. I'm sure they're going to increase in speed at some point, but they've definitely had a big, big surge of users recently. So a lot of people are using all these GPTs that are coming out. So these tools are super buggy. You can see there was an error creating the image right there. So what I've just said is just give me any old logo for my link building agency and we'll see if that works. If it doesn't, we're going to give up and put this to bed. And there you go. There's your logo ready to go. I'm not sure I would use that, but I'm sure after a bit of tweaking, you can get there. So here's the thing, right? I think that these chat GPTs are really cool, but they're very gimmicky as well, right? So there's a lot of hype about them now. There's a lot of cool use cases you can use them for, like creating blog content, outlines, writing stuff. Very, very good. But the image generation, for example, doesn't seem to be that great. And I'm just being real. I'm just being 100% realistic with you because I'm not going to BS you and tell you it's great when it isn't. Now, next up, we've got the 100x business advisor. So this is one thing that I think would be really good. It's like with ChatGPT, you can ask it for business advice and you can kind of bounce ideas off it, right? So for example, let's say, give me 25 service ideas for my SEO agency. And the way that I see this whole marketplace of all these different different tools that you can see down here, they're basically like apps, right? So in the app store that you have on your iPhone or Android, there's many, many different options, but realistically, you're only gonna use maybe one or 2% of those options, right? The, most of them are not gonna have a use case where you get hooked to them every single week, but you might give them a whirl and, and then you just have to try them and see which ones you prefer. And there you go. You've got a bunch of different service ideas that you can use for creating content that you could use and then implement. And you probably just take one or two of those and that'd be enough. But realistically, you could sell YouTube SEO or you could sell image optimization, etc. Keyword research, certainly. If you want to see more tools like this, you can actually check out the other tools that I've created and I'll include them all in a link inside the description. So if you want to get access to all these tools that I mentioned today, feel free to check them out in the description. They're all free to use if you have ChatGPT+. Plus. 
There's also a Julian Golding GPT, free keyword extraction tool, free keyword clustering tool, a GPT I actually trained based on Carl Roos advice, and an SEO link building GPT as well, which you can get access to right there. So tons of different tools there. If you want to get access to all of this, I'm going to include a link in the description. If you want to book in a free call about how to get more leads, traffic and sales to your business, then feel free to book that in. Links in the comments. Um, you'll basically learn how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot without Facebook or Google ads. So feel free to book that in. Links in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.